Lord Chesterfield's letters to his son. This one's dated Saturday. No uh, day of the month or year. Uh, looks like it would be uh, late 1739 or early 1740. It's another fairly short one. Dear boy, since you choose the name of Polyglot, I hope you will take care to deserve it, which you can only do by care and application. I confess the names of Frisky and Colas are not quite so honorable, but then remember too that there cannot be a stronger ridicule than to call a man by an honorable name when he is known not to deserve it. For example, it would be a manifest irony to call a very ugly fellow an Adonis, who you know was so handsome that Venus herself fell in love with him, or to call a cowardly fellow an Alexander, or an ignorant fellow polyglot, for everybody would discover the sneer, and Mr. Pope deserves very truly that praise undeserved is satire in disguise. Next to the uh, doing of things that deserve to be written, there is nothing that gets a man more credit or gives him more pleasure than to write things that deserve to be read. The younger Pliny, for there were two Plinys, the uncle and the nephew, expresses it thus, and a quote in Latin, Pray mind your Greek particularly, for to know Greek very well is to be really learned. There is no great credit in knowing Latin, for everybody knows it, and it is only a shame not to know it. Besides that, you will understand Latin a great deal the better for understanding Greek very well. A great number of Latin words, especially the technical words being derived from the Greek technical words, mean uh, such particular words as relate to any art or science from the Greek word, and it's, and it's in Greek script, which signifies art, and another Greek word in Greek, uh, ancient Greek script, uh, which signifies artificial. Thus, a dictionary that explains the terms of art is called a lexicon uh, technicum, or a technical dictionary. Adieu. Thank you, book two.